You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodrance for Black and White Sports. Well, this is one of those times when you don't have anything else to say or any other excuses. As always, somebody will call racism in out of the bullpen. Yeah, and this time, it makes absolutely no sense at all. Of course, lately, let's be honest, does it really make a lot of sense any other time? Usually, no. And this is one of those times. Pedro Martinez, that's right, the P- Hall of Fame pitcher, awesome pitcher, great pitcher for the Boston Red Sox, has come out and claimed he lost a Major League Baseball most valuable player race to Ivan Rodriguez because of racist baseball writers. Now, I'm going to point some things out in this article, and you're going to be like, what? Number one, one of the writers he's accusing of this was black. That's right. Oh, boy. Absolutely ridiculous. It should also be noted, the other thing I'm going to point out, is the other people that were up for the award were also minorities. You can't make this kind of stupidity up, folks. You cannot. Let's get to this. Pedro Martinez claims he lost the Major League Baseball MVP race to Ivan Rodriguez because racist baseball writers. Wow. At his peak, Pedro Martinez might have been the most dominant pitcher ever. He was deserving of an American League MVP award honors in 2000, and he was stiffed of the award in 99. Martinez led the league in wins, strikeouts, and ERA recording numbers that were unheard of, especially in the midst of the slugging steroid error. For whatever reason, two writers left Martinez off of their MVP voting ballots. I can tell you exactly why. Effectively voiding him of the award. Martinez, however, offered one possible reason. They were racist. This is crazy. Quote, you don't want to say you racist. But sometimes you have to think. There are people that are racist. Martinez told his former teammate David Ortiz and Jared Cabarrus of Barstool. Quote, because how can you give votes to people that didn't belong in MVP contention to just harm someone individually? And I had nothing against those two guys. I've always been a professional. Except I'm not acting like one now, are you, Pedro? The 1999 LA MVP race... featured five minorities at top vote getters. Ivan Rodriguez won the award. Martinez was second, followed by Roberto Alomar, Manny Ramirez, and Rafael Palmero. George King of the New York Post and Lavelle E. Neal III of the Minneapolis Star Tribune, he is a black man, by the way, are the two writers who omitted omitted Martinez from their 99 LA MVP ballots. Quote, MVP is for everyday players. I agree. Sorry, folks. Pitchers have their own award, King said. It's called a Cy Young. Said at the time in defense of his decision, although King reportedly gave MVP votes to David Wells and Rick Helling the year prior. Yikes. Rick Helling, really? Quote, I don't know why two persons like that would have just picked on one single person. Martinez continued on the Barstool podcast, call him Poppy. To just do that, to be that bad out of 20 places, they have each one of them. They couldn't give me a 19th place vote. Baseball writers have been known to flex their muscles in the past when it comes to award voting. If players stiff them on interviews or made them their jobs as journalists difficult in any way, some writers would be vindictive with their award ballots. That's why Albert Bell isn't in Cooperstown. Are you kidding me? Albert Bell shouldn't sniff the Baseball Hall of Fame. Sorry. And why Jim Rice had to wait 15 years before getting inducted into the Hall of Fame. I will totally concede Jim Rice should have made it before then. There's no question some writers have an agenda when it comes to award voting. But to call them out for racism while the top five vote getters were minorities might be a tough sell. It's downright a no sell. No sell at all. Guys, this is what you get from woke baseball athletes 
who think they're getting shited for racism. You get idiot takes like this, and this guy believes that these writers, one of which that was black, going against all other minority candidates, they were racist because he did not get a vote. Throughout history, we have heard many journalists say, if they are voting for a baseball MVP, it will not be a pitcher, okay? That is actually pretty common. I've heard it my entire life as a baseball fan. Some writers will not do it. Do I think there might be extreme cases where a pitcher deserves a vote? Maybe, but I don't necessarily agree with it either. I would always tend to lean towards an everyday player than a guy that shows up and pitches in the fourth or fifth spot or sixth spot in a rotation, depending on the team. And I just, generally speaking, would not give that player an MVP vote. It would be an everyday player like Alvon Rodriguez, a guy that played catcher, Pudge, okay, and was a great catcher. Uh, Rafael Palmero, before the whole I'm going to sit down before Congress thing, was a great player. And look, for him, if he is lobbying for Albert Bell, Joey Bell, Joey Albert Bell, that Bell, he's out of his mind. And that tells you I'm not sure he has a, a comprehension on the players that should be in the Hall of Fame anyway. Look, I understand he's got some home run numbers that are impressive. But during the steroid era, I mean, come on. a lot. There was a lot of batters. I mean, Brady Anderson, I believe, hit, what, 53 one year during the steroid era? I mean, come on. Uh, look, in no way, shape, form, or fashion do I even buy for a millisecond that these baseball writers did not vote for Pedro Martinez because of his skin color when these other candidates were minorities. That's absolutely ludicrous. Now, Pedro Martinez makes himself look bad because he looks like a race baiter and he needs a sad excuse because he didn't win the award and he's butt hurt. So he does what? He pulls the race card. God, I liked Pedro, too. Even as a Yankees fan, I liked Pedro. This is ridiculous. Tell me what you think, black and white sports fans. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.